In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to hook up the connectors to the dynamic shield to control the robot arm. First, let's connect the dynamic cell servo motor. Dynamic cell servos are networked, which means we can connect each servo to another one. So we only have to have a single connector to our board. Notice that the connector is polarized, so it will only fit onto the board in the correct way. So let's go ahead and pop this guy in. Next, we're going to connect the joysticks. I'm using two Grove joysticks. Grove modules also use the polarized connector. Grove is a really cool modular system for robotics. You can buy Grove modules for all kinds of things, and you can just plug them into the connector, and you're ready to use them. Our first joystick plugs into the analog zero plug. And our second joystick plugs into the analog two plug. Now we need to plug in the analog pressure sensor that's in the gripper. This sensor detects when something is being squeezed in the gripper and stops it from closing too much. This sensor uses a Robot Geek 3-pin connector. We can plug this into the header row in the dynamic shield. However, this connector is not polarized, so you can plug it in the wrong way if you're not careful. So let's make sure that you plug the black ground wire into the top of the header row. And it goes on the very last connector on that row, which was uh, analog 11. Finally, we just need to connect our power. The dynamic shield has a jumper that you can put onto it to feed the power from its power plug into the VN on the Arduino. This means that you can feed your battery into a single connector and have it power the entire system. And that's it. With these five connections, we're now ready to control the robot arm. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. In this video, I've shown you how to connect the Arduino and the Dynamic Shield up to the robot arm and control it. Please see the companion instructable for this video that describes how to build and program the robot arm. You can find a link for it in the text for this video. Thanks for watching.